Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-45 from Ask Me Palette Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the tension in the cables in order to support the 100 kg grade in the equilibrium position as shown. To solve this problem, first of all we have to find the coordinates of each point for the coordinates. Coordinates of point A are 0, 0, 0 meters. Coordinates of point B are 2.5 in the x axis, and it has only one component which is directed along the x axis, and the remaining ones are 0, 0 meters. And for the point C, I have 0 in the x axis and negative 2 in the y axis and 0 in the z axis and for the point D I have negative 2 comma 2 comma 1 meters so these are our coordinates now we know that A factor can be written as its magnitude times its direction and we also know that we can also find the direction by using the unit vector along the line of that vector. So we have some forces like we have a force at AB and we can write it as its magnitude times the unit vector along its line of action. Similarly, we can write it as another force which is FAC. FAC is again its magnitude times the unit vector along its line of action and we have FAB. We have FAB and the unit vector along its line of action. So now we have to find three unit vectors. Let's say for UAD, we know that unit vector is equal to position vector over its magnitude. And we know that the Position vector AD could be found by subtracting the coordinates of point D from coordinates of point A. So we have B minus A, so we have negative 2i plus 2j plus 1k divided by its magnitude. So we have negative 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1. So from here we have negative 2 upon 3i plus 2 upon 3j plus 1 upon 3k. This is the value of unit vector along the line of action of the force FAD. So if I put it right here in let's say equation A. Then FAD in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as FAD into negative 2 upon 3 i plus 2 upon 3j plus 1 upon 3k. So we have negative 2 upon 3 FAB plus 2 upon 3 FABJ 
plus 1 upon 3 FADK. So now we have found the force FAD in terms of Cartesian vector form. We have to repeat the same process for the other two forces. So let's say now we are going to find the unit vector UAC. The UAC is simply equal to the position vector divided by its magnitude. So we have RAC which means coordinates of point C minus coordinates of point A. We have 0i minus 2j plus 0k divided by we have 0 square plus minus 2 square plus 0 square we have neg negative 1j this is the unit vector uac now if i put it in this equation let's call this equation b then FAC force in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as negative FAC J because it has only one component directed along the negative, negative y axis. Now we have to find the force FAB in terms of Cartesian vector. For that we have to find the unit vector UAB. The UAB is again equals to the position vector RAB divided by its magnitude. So we have coordinates of point B minus coordinates of point A. So we have 2.5 I plus 0J plus 0k divided by two point five square plus zero square plus zero square so UAB would be written as one I and if I put it in equation let's say equation C right here then FAB in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as FAB I because it has only one component which is directed along the positive x axis. So now we have resolved our forces in the Cartesian vector form. We have one more force to consider it which is the weight force of this grade. If I zoom in, then we have the weight which is acting downwards, vertically downwards. So this weight in terms of Cartesian vector form could be written as negative 100 into 9.81 K because it is directed in the negative sense of positive z axis. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation of equilibrium is sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0. So we have this component right here which is negative 2 upon 3 FAD and here is no component in the x direction. Here is a component which is FAB equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. We have another equation of the equilibrium which is sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. And we have 2 upon 3 FAD plus there is no component in the y direction. So it is 0 right here. And we have one component right here which is directed in the y axis but in the negative sense. So it is negative FAC equals to 0. Let's call this equation 2. We have another equation which is sum of the 
forces in z direction equals to zero. We have one upon three F A D right here, and there are no forces in the z direction in either of these two forces. But we have one weight force which is acting in the negative z axis. So we have to include this one. We have negative hundred into nine point eight one equals to zero. Let's call this equation three. So from equation three, we have F A D is equals to nine eighty one into three. Which comes out to be two nine four three newtons. This is the answer of our first force, which is F A D. Now, if I put it put in equation two, in this equation right here, basically, so we have two upon three into two nine four three. Minus F A C equals to zero. So from here, F A C is equals to one nine six two newtons. So this is our second force. Now, if I put F A D in equation one also in this equation, then we have negative two upon three. F A D, which is two nine four three plus F A B equals to zero. So from here, F A B is equals to one nine six two newtons. These are the magnitude of our forces. So this is our first answer. This is our second answer, and this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section, and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.